Mercado Vial TV, un mundo de máquinas. Second day in World of Fall 2018, we are here in the Birten stand with a new product in the roller and the paving rollers. What's going on with the oscillation? You have been offering this, you said, 2001. Well, Harm introduced oscillation to the world markets back in 1983. We didn't really effectively promote the technology in North America until 2001. And obviously we've done very well, it helped put us on the map. We've sold many, many hundreds and hundreds of machines here in North America. So the technology has really proven itself, which of course is why you're seeing all the other manufacturers now step up and, and finally offer a, a competing product. Of course, this is your famous product, the 90. Yep. This is our standard 10 ton, 66 inch wide drum, a standard machine. Everybody's familiar with an HD90 here in North America. We offer this with conventional vibration, high frequency vibration, which is popular here. Um, oscillation, of course, with having a combination of both a conventional vibratory drum and oscillation. As a combination roller with four tires, with split drums, lots of different variants. This newest machine that we're showing today is the PH, which is a power hybrid. And a power hybrid, we're able to use a much smaller engine 74 horsepower instead of the normal 114 horsepower and of course we're talking tier 4 final technology here so ordinarily that would mean you'd have a DPF and an SCR and a DEF tank we need none of that so we, we we're able to draw the power from the hydraulic accumulator when needed which is essentially when you first start in the machine up and when you activate vibration or oscillation you would need that extra boost of power otherwise you don't so that it charges the hydraulic accumulator and when you need it, it's there, you draw on that. So it's a, a similar cost technology uh, to purchase the unit, but operating costs are significantly less. Simple, easy to, uh, easy to manage and, and, and service, um, no special requirements. So we think we'll do well with this. In North America, we have a lot of, we pay fast, we pay thin, we pay fast, totally different to Europe. So the high frequency machine enables you to run a roller at speeds in excess of four miles an hour and still maintain adequate proper impact spacing. So that's a popular technology over here. Oscillation, of course, as I said, we introduced that technology. Oscillation really comes into play when compacting on a cold joint where you've got a pre-compacted cold side. If you keep beating on that with a conventional vibratory drum, you will crack and damage the joint. Oscillation needs, it works, it squeezes the material together. So good effective joint compaction, nice smoothness because the drum never leaves the ground. And uh, I think in particular, the real benefit is to be able to utilize it when the mix gets cool. Whereas a conventional vibratory roller but well, once you hit 175, all the rules, all the books tell you it's no more vibration, you'll damage the material. If you need a little bit more with this oscillation, no problem. 130, 120 degrees. If you've got viscosity in the mix that's allowing those particles to move and your numbers are still increasing, your density numbers, use it as long as you need it. We're using the Easy Drive system. These are all Tier 4 Final machines and new for Tier 4 Final with the Easy Drive Operators platform. Very ergonomically laid out. All the operator's instrumentation is directly in front of him. Steering wheel to the left, right hand on the joystick. Very easy to understand all the features. I shouldn't say no need to read the book, but it's very intuitive. It's very clear what all the buttons and, and controls are for. So we're using that same dashboard control on our HD plus series, on our DV plus rigid frame machines, on our big soil rollers today, and even on the rubber tired rollers. So good, easy for an operator to go from one machine to another. Easy to drive, plus you have the screen with, it, it tells you where to go, how many passes you have, the temperature. Yeah. That's true, that's an option on this machine, but we have our HCQ harm compaction quality a PC and a, and, a, and a receiver on here and we can continuously map, record the number of passes where we're up, we've been on the map to make sure that we're getting uniformity. We can monitor, monitor the temperature and also the stiffness value as well. So it's a, it's a growing technology here in, in the US.